Hello Knife Community folder here. Quick review. This is a giant mouse ace grand Saint Nick's edition. And I just picked it up. I want to do a quick review on it. And sort of bring it to light as to why I got it. And my you know my take on it so far um let's get the maintenance out the way i weighed it before it's about 4.7 ounces and let's just take a look at the size the length i'm not gonna worry about the um the blade and the handle the overall length is about eight inches i mean it's it's right on spot with eight inches and that, that number is key with one of the reasons why I bought the knife besides the fact that I, I do like the brand. Uh, but eight inches is like um, right around that eight, eight and a quarter, eight and a half is for me ideal size for a knife. And I'm not saying I don't like other sizes. I'm just saying that is like the sweet spot for me. So, uh uh, that was one of the reasons why it was the, it was the size that I like uh, and okay so let's do some size comparisons my one of my absolute favorite knives in the world uh, the Spyderco Manix 2 which is 8 inches I think it's 8.01 or something like that it's very close and I'm lining them up at the pivots and I mean, you really can't get much closer than that I think the blade on the Manix 2 is a little longer, uh, but aside from that, they're very close in size, extremely. So that's probably one of the reasons why I like it so much. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? How about the PM2, which is, you know, a little bit bigger. Line up pivots. So yeah, right there. It's basically right there. It's close, extremely close. Uh, Sage Five is a smaller knife, so it's a, it's a little bigger than the Sage Five. I mean, Sage Five I can get, yeah, with the choil I can I can get all my my whole hand on it. So puts this the ergos on this knife. So, three and three quarters so not really a finger choil here looks more like a sharpening choil plunge grind um, yeah so yeah this would be the this would be the grip it would be right here it's got some jimping way up on the blade I guess when you utility cuts you could you could get to that and, and help focus the blade so, yeah, and one more comparison, um, Cold Steel Recon 1, enormous knife, so that's what it looks like next to a Recon 1, and also too, uh, the G10 is another reason why I got this knife, it has smooth G10, I have the Giant Mouse Ace uh, Reeve in the Stormtrooper Edition, and the white G10 is spectacular. So I, I um, that's what got me thinking about it, and I knew what this G10 would be, would be really good, textured, feels smooth in the hand, but doesn't feel slippery, as opposed to this a rougher G10. I still like the Recon though, but Recon's much bigger. And okay, so eh, one more comparison. Can't do that. How about the PM3? Let me clean the blade before I put it on camera. Blade looked terrible. Yeah, the PM <coughs> PM3 in um 110 CPM S 110V. So yeah, right where we thought it would be. So. 
Right, so this uh, St. Nick's edition, uh, because it's red, I'm sure. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, it's my first experience with the Venetis 4E Super Clean Steel. We'll see how long it holds an edge. Well, we'll see how I'm going to actually use this knife. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it. But um, I was intrigued by it. And, of course, like I said, the bowl of steel... You know, Crucible is usually more my preference, but, you know, I'm not against Boa, so... And, I, and I've heard really good things about the steel. And, you know, coming from how I would use this knife anyway is... It's, um... It's just all a matter of how long it can hold its edge. That's really, really the only factor. I mean, from what I've heard, heard about the Venetis 4E is that it is ridiculously tough it uh the wear resistance is outstanding and it's high impact this has the pvd coating stone wash on it to protect the steel it's a tool steel uh and um you know so you so that that can be an issue i've heard stories of some people with uh the oils from their hands or the the sweat uh causing 4v to tarnish or pit or there being a problem so you know I'm not sure about the uh, bowler compared to that but I think um, you know with the PVD coating well, PVD is excellent and this is stone wash so it um, you know it's probably gonna be okay I would imagine it's okay uh Next, uh, I will, I, I have noticed the action, um, it's really, really difficult, uh, my initial impressions, it's really difficult to get to the lock bar, uh, I looked at a couple of videos and I do see some modifications done on this knife to help the action, I am firmly against that on this knife. If I bought this knife in my Carter or yeah, if I bought it as a as a beater or, or a heavy user, maybe I would consider that, but you know, I'm I'm definitely not going to um definitely not going to uh do any modifications to the to the uh the handle. Uh I want to add some lighting here. Seems like my lighting is bad in this video. What else? Um, yeah. Also, I I also purchased some taco bearings for it. Um, the ceramic bearings. Uh, for right now, I'm not gonna replace the bearings. For right now, I'm gonna just um, I'm gonna break this knife in. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna cut some stuff with it. You know, I wish I had it yesterday. I had to cut a, um, I had to cut a vacuum hose, and really kind of shape it because it, it, it's a vacuum hose from a, um, a shop vac, and it kind of screws into the, um, into the connection piece. So I had to cut it with one of my knives. So that was a cutting task that I would have just, just to see how well, the uh, Venetis cuts through that type of material would have been good but you know these cutting tasks always come up so it's not a big deal you know I just I actually want to take a look before I end the video uh, on these screws these screws look really small to me uh, this is a six wow so these are these are t6s in the, um, in the body here and that looks like an eight in the pivot and boy, it is. Wow. Yeah, I, I would have liked to see 8s and 10s. And, you know, it would have been nice. But, you know, it's it's not a huge knife. And I guess they, you know, it's not the end of the world. But, you know, these, these do look a little small. So, you know, maybe I'll come back and do a more detailed review. This was more of like a introduction. Did, this titanium backspacer is nice, though. I actually like the backspacer. It feels really good. It looks good. The lanyard hole in there is... <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what to say about that. That's, um... If there's any downside 
initially looking at it, that would be it. I also noticed that the branding, there's none on the show side of the blade. Uh, it's on the clip side. Uh, it just says Ace Venatus, Venatus for the, uh, the tool steel. So, yeah, that's interesting. That's, that's, that's kind of nice. Blade is sick, man. Blade is really nice. The shape of it is is very nice shape blade. It's a really nice knife. Very really, you know, it's it's nice. Um, shape is good. The cutting geometry is gonna be fine. I mean, you know, we're knife people. We use a lot of knives. It's not gonna be a problem using this uh, for any type of EDC task. And that's all I would use it for. I'm a knife collector. I'm a knife enthusiast and an appreciation of. Uh, of the craftsmanship and the um, the technology, if you will, that goes into knives and making knives and and different types of designs. So, and I like owning them, you know. So it, it's a joyful thing for me. It brings me joy, kind of just looking at them, feeling them, having them. And then if I have to cut something with it or use it, then it's great also. But you know, that's what we are. That's what we do. We just we like them. You know, it's something that you know. Yeah, it's what it is. In this world, if you find something that you like, and it's something like this, then, you know, kind of like go with it. So, at any rate, I will probably do another video on this knife uh, because of the fact that um, it's a giant mouse. I like the brand. This is my second giant mouse. The first one I love, the Reef. It's really nice. So, we'll see how I like this later on. All right, that's all I got. Thanks.